wow, what a turnout. Obviously, most of the students have taken a day off due to the tropical storm. Yes, Frank? Why don't they just cancel school? I mean, if the storm's going to be as bad as they say it is. You can always rely on the county to be stingy with their weather days. It is what it is. Damn. I need to go up front and pick up some copies for the class. Hey, Quinn. Frank? Uh, I've got to talk to you about something. Okay. I, I think we should break up. What? I, I think we should break up. Shh, quite, quiet down. Quinn, are you really too concerned with your popularity to realize that I'm breaking up with you? Frank, not now. Why not now? God forbid anyone in the school actually knows you have real problems. Fine! Is this what you want? Quinn? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, let's not be immature. No, you want to give everyone a show, right? Come on, let's give them a show. Attention students and faculty. Due to the severity of the passing storm, we are initiating a weather lockdown. No one is to leave where they are under any circumstance. Please, stay away from all windows and doors and remain in your classroom. Thank you. Come on, Quinn. You know we've been out of sync for weeks now. We're not synchronized swimmers. We can't be out of sync. You know what I mean, Quinn. We had everything. We were shoe-ins for prom court. Why do you want to throw it all away? This is why. You know, all you care about is your popularity or if you're going to be elected the next queen or whatever. You know, there's more to life than just your social status. I know what this is about. I just told you what this is about. Or should I say... Who? What? This is about. Uh, Katie Flanagan. Didn't think I caught on to that, did you? I mean, can't say I'm surprised. They do say she's a little bit more free-spirited. Oh, come on! You know, at least Katie didn't kiss Gary in the seventh grade! You two are going to end up hurting each other if you don't knock it off. Okay, that's not appropriate. You two are acting like children. But she's No, oh, shut up! If we're going to be in this classroom together, it's not going to be with you two yelling at each other. Just pick a winner. Claim your prize and get over yourselves. That's it. Pick a winner. You guys pick the winner and... Whoever has the most people on their side wins the breakup. Wins the breakup. I like that idea. You guys are insane. Okay, everyone stand. If you're on my side, come to this side of the room. So if you aren't delusional, come to my side. Allegedly. Why can't you guys just break up like everyone else, wig out for a few weeks, and move on with your lives? Fine. Whatever. I'm sorry this is all happening. It's okay. I kind of stopped coming. I just wanted to be that couple that everybody looked up to, you know? And you were for a while. How would you know? You're new. Quinn, I've been in half of your classes since seventh grade. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what, this is what Frank was talking about. You're so concerned about how others will perceive you. You're not even really living in the moment. You're just so concerned about how the moment will look to others. You're not being you. So what do I do? Just be Quinn. Should I apologize to him? 
I do think apologies are in order from both sides. I was acting selfish. Yeah, you were. Watch it. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I never really meant to. I. What are you doing? Uh, I thought we were getting back together. <laughs> Dude, no, you still cheated on me. You know what? We just need to go our separate ways and file makes this happen. And if the loose morals of Katie Flanagan make you happy, then so be Attention students and faculty. Majority of the storm has passed and we are instructing all students to leave campus immediately. Thank you. So Brenda, you want to go get out of coffee or something? Shut up, Frank. <laughs>